What is up guys, Bobgar here. We are one game into our friendly modern league. We won our first match. Uh, I'm not sure how still, but we did it. It's pretty good. Um, and I think I keep, but it's a really slow hand and it could just be bad. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm going to start with planes. I guess mostly just to not give them information since we can play some Petal Grove untapped at some point in the future. No reason to Radiant Fountain here for sure. Cured Ape. Well, it's against some kind of zoo deck. We are very flooded. Well, uh, Lone Rider. Pass turn. Presumably this guy's going to turn into a 2-3. If he does and he swings in and they don't have defenders, I might always watch him here. Otherwise, I will probably try to... He just leaves him on defense and sticks around with the O1 lander. Well, I mean, I'm going to swing in, right? The worst thing he's going to do is blow a combat trick to trade here. No, he just lets it go. That's what it looks like. Okay, so he takes a damage. And I play a Radiant Fountain. Gain two more life. So I've gained three life this turn. So Lone Rider will flip. He lightning bolts Lone Rider, sure. And I'll just uh, play down a second one. Turn it into a 4-4 for a first strike. Trample lifelink. Doesn't seem, doesn't seem too shabby. Um, we are super flooded still, and he got his second lane now. I think I'll just take here. I'm not super concerned with taking two. Maybe I should have tried to trade, but potential blowouts are, are there, and I don't wanna, don't wanna face them. Death touch. That's not too scary either. Um, well, I think I should play Sun Petal Grove here. I don't think he has. A, I don't think there's a one mana spell that he could have that will beat this. All right. And then there's a question of do I always watching or do I just Lone Rider? And I think I just swing with this guy. He just takes, goes to 11. I go to 27. Play a second Lone Rider. Pass turn. He flips. The thing is, I don't really need to block if he keeps attacking. Maybe it's bad. Maybe I should, but it's just not really important to me. He has a whole bunch of lands. Oh, he's going to get to go off and play a bunch of stuff down. He generates two green. He has another one that generates two green. Sure. And he has another death touch guy. Sure. And another one. Wow. That is a, it's definitely a good hand for this deck. It's an explosive zoo deck, it looks like. Um, land. Definitely playing always watching here. Um, I guess he could double block with one of these he just gives up all right sweet so we got there against this zoo deck uh we actually might want timely reinforcements against them Jeez, it's possible he's kind of go wide um angelica court feels like it would be good against him eventually hmm well we round two we won game one also i i, I don't know what to say um Timely Reinforcements is the only one I would consider just because he goes so... He, he, we go a little bit wide is the problem, but he goes way wider than us, and he could put us behind the gun with um, creatures. But even then, I'm not sure Timely will be that good. So I think I'm just going to keep it as is. Keep it as is. I've got to tell him good luck, have fun, but I'm not going to do that after I won the first round. First game, rather. Um, well, this is looking pretty good. Let's keep... Definitely does what I want it to do. The only question is, does he have powerful things he can do to stop me? And I, I don't know the answer to that one. Wild McCurdle. Yeah, got it. Bolt Scourge. I deal two damage to myself. Sure. Uh, probably just play a Johnny's Pride Meat to, to start buffing that up next turn. I don't know. It's a little tricky. It depends what I want to do, I guess. Well, Glory Band Initiate is, is the option to get a really big creature out. Okay. He does have Hand Dump turn, too. It's pretty good. Oh, and he has Lightning Bolt. Nice. Well, that does slow me down a bit. Um, what do I play here? I still think I play a Glory Bound Initiate. I mean, he could have another Lightning Bolt for it, but if he does, that's fine. I will godly slam it into pretty much anything he has. So he's going to swing for seven here. Yeah, I'll take. All right, my turn. Not the best, but I'll try. Attack and exert. Does he have Lightning Bolt or Path? He does. He has another path. All right. Well, that puts us in a hard position for sure. We're at eight, and he can swing for seven. Uh, I think I just want a planes, even though I have quite a bit of 
other stuff. I mean, maybe I should have tried to trade there. It would have slowed him down, certainly. I don't think I win no matter what I do. So I can either play Voracious Worm and just trade. That could be the best play. Or I could hedge my bets on playing down a Lone Rider. Uh, so let's play down a Lone, R Lone Rider. Hopefully he can only do uh, 7 damage here. Well, if he can only do 7, we still might be kind of screwed. No, I take it. If he has Lightning Bolt, he wins. I'm fine with that. Does he have Lightning Bolt? Nope, that's just a, it's just a blocker. That's fine. I mean, it's good against us, but... Well, this is gain 2 life. I can't even play Vault Scourge right now. It was gain 4 life, rather. And I could pass, make him sack, gain 4 life. I don't think that's good enough. I can play a Johnny's Pride Mate. It will turn into a 3-3 three, three at instant speed. I don't think that's good enough either. I don't know if there's a way we win this. I mean, if I could do both with this, it would be pretty good. I mean, I could gain four life, but then I have to Vault Scourge, because I need at least two blockers. Uh, so this actually only gains me two. I go to three. I block here and here. I take three. There, There's currently no way for me to win. We had a little bit of a slow, slow draw, and he had a lot of removal. I think I run it back, though. I, I like that. I don't think I need the timelies there. I will go first. This is definitely a keep. Start off Sacred Cat, then Glory Bound Initiate. Stomping Grounds, plays Goblin Guide, gets in, gives me land. Yeah, now I take. It's fine. Um, I mean, I guess the other option is I could Bone Splinter's Rancor. That would be pretty funny. It's a little riskier. You know what? I think I just Glory Bound Initiate. I think that's fine. Okay. Let's see if he has a big turn two like he does sometimes. Okay. Goes to the attack. Gladly take the two here. I uh, got a Bone Splinters on top. It's a good card, but not what I need now. Another land. If he has Bolt and Path, I could be in some trouble for sure. Goes to 13. So he has creatures here too. They just must not have haste. Okay. Place down a Wild Nicotl. And Bolt's my Glory Band Initiate. Sure. Well, that seems fine to me. So, step one. Play Rancor here. Swing on in. The 3 1 trample. I guess I could have made it a 5, but I think that's fine. So this only comes in as a 5 5, but still pretty good. Basically trades with anything he has, unless he has some kind of crazy pump. But I don't even know if I want to trade it or whether I just want to. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do yet. It's true, that would have been like a 9 9 otherwise, so. It could be that he made the right play by bolting. He has a Rancor too, sure. Tax with both. Get another land. I guess I'll take this. I'm not super worried about it. Seems fine. Well, I'm gonna try to bone splinters up my sacred cat. Does he bolt it? He lets it go. Alright. He does bolt it now. That's fine. Not 13, he's at 5 though. Do I play Sacred Cat and buff him? That might be the best play. Yeah, let's play Sacred Cat. And let's Rancor him up. He has a Shaman. Yep. Yeah. What else does he have? Oh, he has one of those. Sure. We, I don't think he kills me here, though, right? I have Life Gain, and I can just block the 5-3. That seems totally fine to me. He attacks. He can't attack all, right? He holds one back. So he's doing that, I have to do some math. Okay, so he only attacks for s is six? Six, seven, eight, nine. So I would go to four. He's tapped out, I'll swing back for three, five, seven. With Trample, he can double block it to survive. Play Lone Rider. Yeah, I think I take it. I, mean, I was a little worried he'd have something else. But if that's all he has, I think I'm good. Sun Petal Grove up here, Bone Splinters, up here, um, alright, I don't see why I wouldn't just attack all, play Lone Rider, hopefully this is not a terrible play, and then play down, yeah, attack all, play down Lone Rider, I think that's right, he gives up, we got there, hey, we're 2-0, what the hell, uh, this new deck is, if you watched the, uh, deck tech, the kind of deck that I said I thought we were pretty well positioned against just because Lifelink is pretty strong against them and so is First Strike. 
But I didn't actually expect to win against a fully powered Wild Nakadal Zoo style deck. All right, well, somebody's going to face us in like the 2 0 bracket and be like, how the hell did this deck get there? But I'll take it, man. This is amazing. I cannot, I am without words. I don't know what to say. And it's, it's funny. Last time we won off a 7 1 Lifelink Sacred Cat, and we did it again. 7 1 Lifelink Sacred Cats for the win, man. They're just. New meta, that's the new meta in modern. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.